Super exciting day today. The elderflowers are in bloom. So of course we're gonna make elderflower champagne. Super easy recipe. What we need is 12 cups of elderflowers, 10 lemons, and they're whole, we're gonna slice these lemons. We're gonna leave the rinds and all that zest on. We're gonna need nine cups of sugar. And then we're, what we're gonna use, people use apple cider vinegar. I don't have any really um, pure organic apple cider vinegar around. So I'm actually gonna use the starter yeast from a wine store. We've done it before and it works fantastic. So here we go. So the first step, of course, after you've picked your elderflowers is we're gonna get rid of these stucky stems that are on here. We're gonna cut all these blooms off of the stems. I'm just gonna use a kitchen shears. You can use a scissors. We're gonna cut them off. We need 12 cups of these bad boys. So that's the first step in making our elderflower champagne. Also, I'm gonna cut them and then I'm gonna let them sit because there will be bugs. This is a natural um, champagne we're making. So there will be bugs uh, in the elderflowers. I'm gonna let them sit for a while. The bugs will crawl, of course, up the side of my five gallon pail and then we'll scoop them out. But um, I probably, if I do rinse these, I will rinse them lightly. I probably won't rinse them, however, because I want that natural yeast that these flowers have. I want that in that champagne. So. I'm just gonna make sure I can get them as clean as I possibly can without actually rinsing them with water. So we're gonna snip all of these little flowers off, just right here right in the stem area, and get rid of the kind of tree part of these elder flowers. Just show you guys what I mean when I say I wanna get rid of the stem. I just make it so I can cut the, you know, the little flower balls off. I don't know, flower balls off, I guess. And then we're left with this guy. So. The good guy goes in the pail and the other guy goes into our compost. So there's those beautiful elderflowers. Now to this, these 12 cups of elderflower, I have added three gallons or 48 cups of water. I'm going to add nine cups of sugar and stir it in. Then I'm going to add 10 sliced lemons after that. 10 sliced lemons go into this beautiful concoction all combined oh my gosh it smells so pretty so pretty with the elderflowers and the lemon oh my goodness last but not least the sparkling wine yeast I'll give this a stir and then I will cover it with a tea towel and I will let it sit and every day I will stir it two to three times and look at it. So now the elderflower champagne has been sitting for about 48 hours. And you can see we got the like awesome bubbly action happening here. And I could hear it this morning when I walked near it. So we know we've got some good things happening. Now I did add, um, I think it was six tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in here as well. Um, just for good luck, I guess. I wanted to make sure that this little concoction will definitely be active and it is. So Hopefully that was a good decision. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna scoop out all of this goodness. I'm gonna strain it, and then I am going to strain it again through a cheesecloth, and I'm going to bottle it into our big bottles. Uh, when I'm done doing that, I'll show you guys the next step. I've strained all of that yumminess. Look what we have. So now I gotta actually put it through a cheesecloth again. I'm going to cheesecloth strain it into this bucket. I'm sure there is an easier way to do this, but uh, if I'm not making it hard, I'm hardly working. So yeah, that's the next step. Pour it through the cheesecloth. So there is my filtered through a cheesecloth elderflower champagne. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scoop it from the pail and put it into my big bottles. And I've got three of these guys, they have been sterilized. I'm gonna fill these bottles and then I'm going to let, I'm gonna actually put um, the airlocks on them and they are going to sit for four days then before we re-bottle them into our clip top bottles. Look at those beauties. They are all bottled up into our big one gallon jugs that have been sterilized. Got these little toppers on here to help let some of that carbonation come out. So hopefully we get a lot of activity here in the next four days. So about four days from now, we're actually gonna take a peek at this again. And if they're ready to go, we are going to put them into our flip top bottles. Elderflower champagne, very easy to make. Actually, these guys smell like pineapple right now. So that's really super cool. 
and I can't wait to see the next step. Okay, folks, so the elderflower champagne has been bottled and been about two weeks now, roughly, I guess. And we're going to do a little taste test on it here and see what we get for fizzing action. Whoa! Oh, it's got some nice fizzy action. Oh, beautiful. Nice and bubbly. Nice and clear. One for the camera girl. Oh, thank you, cameraman. Or not. Thank you, actor. <laughs> One for me. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Oh, that's good. Mm. Oh, it turned out really good. You're surprised? I mean it. Of course it turned it's out really delicious. good. Delicious. Delicious. So, elderflower champagne, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.